Today we have a large semicircle that contains two smaller ones, one with a radius of 6 meters and the other with a radius of 4. We need to use them to find x, the diameter of the larger one. If you want to attempt this problem on your own, pause the video now, because we're about to begin. The two semicircles are touching, and if we rotate our radial line, we know that the distance from that point to the top of the pink semicircle is 6, and the distance from that point to the base of the yellow semicircle is 4. So the total length of that line is 10 meters. From this line we can draw two more, creating a right angled triangle. We know two of its lengths and Pythagoras can help us work out the third. We can use a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a equals 6, b is the length we're trying to find, and c is 10, giving us 6 squared plus b squared equals 10 squared. Working through and solving for b, we find that our third length is 8 meters. We can also say that the distance from the midpoint of the yellow semicircle to the edge is 4 meters, since we know its radius. In the other direction, we can draw a line to the edge of the pink semicircle and label it as 6 meters. So now we just need to work out the distance from that point to the edge of the semicircle. To do that, we're going to draw another line and create another right angled triangle. We know the bottom side is 18 meters long, and the left side has a height of 6 meters. So now we could work out the length of the hypotenuse, but we don't need to. Instead, we're going to draw another line and create another right angled triangle. And you might be thinking, how do we know that's a right angled triangle? We know because any time a triangle is inscribed within a semicircle, with one side as the diameter, the angle opposite the diameter will always be 90 degrees. Next, we're going to label this angle theta and label the right angle in our small triangle. So now in our large triangle, we have a right angle, theta, and one unknown angle. And in our small triangle, we also have a right angle, theta, and one unknown angle. This means that the third angle in both triangles must be the same because if two angles match in a triangle, three angles match in a triangle. And if the angles are the same, we know that their lengths must be proportional. So we can say that the alpha right angle length in the large triangle, divided by the alpha right angle length in the small triangle, is equal to the base length of the large triangle, divided by the base length of the small triangle. Or 18 over 6 equals 6 over question mark. And multiplying both sides by a sixth, we find that the length in question is 0.5 meaning that the diameter of the semicircle is 18.5 meters. And to calculate the area, we simply use pi r squared over 2. Plugging the numbers in, we find that the total area of the semicircle is 134 meters squared.